Hey guys, this is Breaker9, back with another replay that I found on the front page of Drop.sc, and let's get loaded into the game. What the hell is wrong with me? I actually didn't start loading it. On the left side of our loading screen, we have Liquid Red, and on the right side, we have Mouse's Hero Marine. Now, I honestly don't know much about Hero Marine. I wish I did, but in the upper left-hand corner, one of my favorite Zergs of all time, one of my favorite European Zergs of all time, simply given the fact that he is Dutch like my grandmother was, and thus being the only symbol of my heritage. Who am I kidding? I'm American. <laughs> His name is Liquid Red. And in the lower right-hand corner of Star Station t Tournament Edition, spawning as our Terran in the red trunks, his name is Hero Marine. Now, I really wish I had more information about Hero Marine as a player, but I don't, and I somehow feel like the music on this is just a little bit too low, so I'm going to take the sound back up just a teeny bit. Let's kick that up to 50. Yeah, sounds about appropriate right about now. <clears throat> so this map, uh, okay, in case you guys didn't notice the big season changes with it, we have the upper right and the lower left-hand corners removed and instead replaced with what is essentially the third of what would be the upper right and the lower left respectively. And the natural is kind of cut off just a little bit here and replaced with this huge glass eye. Yeah, let's look. No, wait, 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 what is this? This is a Stargate. And no, I don't mean a Stargate from uh, this game. I actually mean Stargate from Stargate SG-1. I tried to be a little bit cheesy there, but that didn't quite work out. Very early refinery going down for our Terran Hero Marine. Not long after the barracks, so I'm inclined to say that this is, this is going to lead into a Reaper. And an Overlord going out in this direction is basically meant to catch on to any proxy play or anything of that nature. But this Overlord is already in its timely position, and I don't think Rhett really cares too much about losing it, which he really shouldn't be. Okay, so... Gas is getting there at about 50, and I think... I, I'm, I think it's gonna be at 50. No, wait, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh, boy, he's just gotta wait a couple seconds and then he's got that first Reaper on the way. All right. And our Zerg, of course, going for. Wow, okay, Rhett's actually going for something pretty standard. I Standard ish, but I guess he just really, really wants control of the map. And I'm not entirely sure where exactly this game came from. It could have very well been the ladder. It could have. Yeah, I'm inclined to say it's the ladder. Because both players, of course, are in the standard colors that players would be if they were to meet on the ladder. They're not pink, they're not yellow. So there's no reason to suspect otherwise. And now we have this Overlord not quite catching on to that Reaper. I don't know, jeez. But we do have a second Reaper coming in behind that. And it looks like he's going to be rallied out over here as the rally point is not connected to this, the first Reaper, the initial Reaper that's out on the map. And beyond that, we actually have Rhett just getting enough gas to get Metabolic Boost, and that's it. I wouldn't be surprised to see him crank out two more Queens after this, and then go into a third base. But of course, it's highly situational. Oh no, Reaper's arrived, and it's pecking away. It's bullying those drones. And now it looks like two things are going to catch on to this. Oh no, poor control from Mouse, from, excuse me, Mouse's Hero Marine almost resulted him in losing that Reaper. Well... That's far. That's a far call from um, re from almost, but it is pretty low health, given that two slowlings were chasing it. But ooh, the queen. Uh, well, he's still free to move around as he pleases. But of course, our lings never arrived here to take down or delay that natural expo coming from our Terran. Hmm. <clears throat> Accidentally zoomed in there, and now metabolic boost is about seventy percent done. But Red's keeping his cool. Altogether, he's only made a total of four lings. He was probably expecting another Reaper to come into the party as well. But that second Reaper is back at home, and it's going to add to the DPS with the four Hellions that are going to come into play. At least the four standard Hellions that come into play. There could also be maybe a total of six. Maybe a total of six Hellions altogether. And now, after a temporary supply block, it looks as though we're going to have... Hero Marine cranking out that first Marine in the game and just making sure that there's not going to be any sacrificial emo lords coming in to scout what he's up to. But it looks like this game could last a while. I mean, given the fact that we have a third command center coming from our Terran and we don't have a ton of gas income going down for Red just yet. In fact, he's still focusing on droning up. 
This game is going to last easily at least nine minutes. Yeah, there's the third. No, not not beyond nine minutes, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm inclined to say about at least 15 minutes. I mean, with this kind of play style, it usually takes about five minutes to get everything ramped up. We're going to have, and this is exactly what Hero Marine is buying time for. He's actually going to try and get those Hellions out to a position where they can contain Creep Tumors. If not, then Liquid Red's just going to have an absolute... Ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, he's going to have to... I mean, right now we have Hero Marine going into quarantine mode on the Creep Tumors that are out there. Link's trying to make a little bit of a run by here. It doesn't quite work out. Now they're just going to skittle away to this one little Zelnaga Watchtower over here. Might be good for helping to watch out against drops. The Sacrificial Emolord Lord is now going in, and it looks as though we're going to have a few Hellions moving out to get Creep Tumors. Now this is absolutely the golden point to do the scouting, because of course, he's already seen the four Hellions, excuse me, all the six Hellions, and the two Reapers moving out, and that means that basically that's all of his containment force. He should be concentrating on teching up right now. And that is absolutely unerroneous. The Overlord goes in there and sees that there is a second barracks in construction right now. And that's all he needs to see. And he knows for a fact that the only viable play that Marine could be doing is bio play. Or at least bio mine. Definitely bio mine. With what we see here, a factory with a reactor on it. A factory with a reactory leads into bio mine play. <clears throat> and in case you guys can tell already, I'm in an absurdly good mood already. Just, uh, life is beautiful. That's all I can say. I'm actually super stoked to find out, and this is actually a huge shout-out. A huge shout-out to Suppy for going to Taiwan to compete in the TESL. I would not be surprised to see that, you know, that American Chinese Brohan take first prize at this TESL season. But back to the game. Lings are moving out, trying to get control of the map. But Hero Marine is doing whatever he can to deny control of the map by Liquid Red. That's not... Okay, that's kind of working out just a little bit. He's not cutting off all creep tumors, but that's not too terribly important. Oh! Oh! And Red's going to get his around! Oh! 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 But is he going to be able to get... Hero Marine can't break these cuffs. He's going to lose all those Hellions and the Reaper. That's just absolutely crazy. I would not have expected that. But, I mean, it's just like, I mean, he had everything on there, didn't he? I mean, jeez. I would go back and check, but I really don't want to interrupt the action. So, of course, now we have a lot more barracks on the way because a third command center has now been established for Hero Marine. I mean, he kind of needlessly lost those units, but it doesn't really mean that he's lost the game. No, it's far from that. It's much, much further from that. What we could see from him is essentially do split-pronged or, you know, maybe send out two medevac drops at a time. But I can't help but say, Red has a lot in the way of workers right now. He might have... He, he kind of overdroned on his third, but with that being said, he could actually... Ah, uh, here's why he's actually going for his fourth base. He's going to maybe pull some of those workers over there and put them over here. More particularly on gas, I think, but it highly depends on what tech tree he's going with. And it looks like it's going to be Mutas and Banelings. Two company is Zerglings, which are already now 1-1. Unless he cancelled the upgrade, but... This is the initial offensive coming out from Hero Marine. I don't know much about Hero Marine's outward appearance. Like, I haven't actually seen him on a stream at a live event before that I could remember. But! He's a very strong online contender. I remember casting him before for some other tournaments. And it looks like he's going to go in there and not let the gr not let his nerves get to him. He's going to get that fourth base. He's actually taking himself back against the wall. The Baneling numbers, are, they're kind of substantial here. But the question is, can they get in close enough to these Marines? It looks like, no, in the end, the Medivacs end up picking them up. But beyond that, the Spire has finished for Red. So, drops are only so much more effective to this stage in the game. If they're caught out in open space, say at this position, this position, this positions, these positiones, then the mutas will have more than enough time to chase them down after their ignite afterburners has been basically worn off. A few banelings morphing over here, and I believe centrifugal hooks is ready to go. It is not. Excuse me. Um. Wow, how did that slip my eye? It was actually in the middle of the Upgrades tab, or at least it was upgrading. And it, I, you know, rolling them in here is not really going to help, but I think that's what Rhett had the intention of doing. 
for now, it would probably be just best for him to wait for the main army to move out. He has no actual vision of that happening until his mutas swing into that. And now it looks like Hero Marine's kind of going a bit defensive. And now Rhett knows with a speed upgrade and... Oh, jeez. Well, that was you know, a little bit of a... I wouldn't say too much of a blunder, but he... Ah, he did some damage. He just didn't kill what he needed to kill. But it looks like, oh man, we've only got a couple of Marines here and a bunch of SCVs, and these Lings are going to get some kills. Or are they? Ah, eh, just one or two. Just one or two. But where are the Mutas in all of this? Did they disappear? Where are they? Let's find them. Ah, here they are. They're on creep. Alright. Okay, so... Miles Marine now moving out just as his plus two plus two is finishing up, but Red's plus two plus two is going to be finished for about a 50 second window here in 10 seconds. Excuse me, a 40 second window, but here goes the big action right now. The Banelings just rolling forward. Some of the Marines get picked up in a medevac and moved out of position to avoid the Banelings. And now another scan goes down on creep. And it looks like Red is maybe going to have a little bit of trouble holding this. It depends on whether or not his supply line gets cut off. Excuse me, his reinforcement line gets cut off in this direction. Meanwhile, excuse me, I didn't mean to hit that. We have... Oh, man. Oh, this little bio contingency moving up the Muta's a little bit much. The Banelings making some okay connections, but they're not killing the numbers that they need to just yet. And Rhett is down just a little bit in supply. Both sides are even in upgrades, but Rhett has the defender's advantage plus an income advantage. Or so I imagine. Scan goes down on top of the creep, and ooh, a bunch. You know, I mean, that, that, was, that was pretty okay. That was one for one right there for Rhett. And that was a worthless Baneling just now. And now the Marines are moving out on creep. There's no vision, but of course there is still a speed buff to all of those units. Widowmine actually hits nothing there. So that could out oh oh that could end up helping right out just a little bit. There's no more Widowmines within range of all of these Marines, and it looks like the Mutas are probably not gonna be able to fight off against those Marines just yet. Now a huge wave of reinforcement Zerglings and Banelings coming in. But reinforcement marines and mines coming in. And that's a bunch of burrowed widow mines just now. And it looks like with that, we actually see Rhett forced to pull back. Meanwhile, more and more reinforcements coming in for Rhett. He's kind of stuck right here. I mean, he's going to have to do something really soon to push back this bio army. Because Hero Marine has actually started on his plus three, plus three. Even supply, even upgrades, you can exchange evenly and still hold your ground, but you can't really push back at your opponent unless you do something drastic, unless you take out your opponent's economy. But if your opponent has even supply with you and superior upgrades, you're not going to be able to hold your ground. Not unless you can somehow get a miracle engagement. And now it looks like those Banelings, not too ineffective, but here we go. I mean, Red, he's trying to get the positioning. I think he could actually get the positioning if he could throw some Banelings down over here in this direction. And it looks like Hero Marine is trying to assert his territory on top of Creep of Red. He can't really do that on the low ground, but on the high ground, it might be a different story. It looks like even more Banelings are morphing right now. And, oh, that's maybe not the most effective connection. Oh, man. The, okay, the Mutas were all hit by one Widow Mine, maybe two there. And it looks like... Red's going to have to push out soon. If he doesn't do this now, he's not going to ever get that chance again. And he's going to go for it. And it looks like the Banelings don't quite connect the way they need to. There's more and more reinforcements back at home for Hero Marine. But it's something's not right here. His main's going dry. His natural not quite there yet. But the engagement at the front line, somehow the numbers are in favor of Red. And now look at this, look, look at this. Oh my God, not quite able to get us around on all those Marines. They're running back onto, onto the Widow Mines. And it looks like the Overseers are revealing those Widow Mines just long enough for the Mutas to deal with them. And now somehow Liquid Red is pushing back in miracle fashion, even with plus three, plus three finished. He has his 20 supply lead over his opponent somewhat steadily. And the Banelings are splitting magnificently. And it looks like maybe, just maybe we're gonna have Red 
push this back. He's gonna he's gonna have to figure out that his opponent has a fourth base though over here at the six o'clock position. If he doesn't, then his opponent's economy is gonna be able to spiral until it gets the control that it needs. He's not quite able to get any worker kills in all of this, but there it is. He's found out about the fourth base. But he's he's sending the leans at that. I'm not I'm not sure how to feel about that. Now he pulls back, realizing all the almost infutility of the situation, or the near infutility of the situation. And this game continues as Rhett takes a fifth base. That being said, he was able to set up his hive tech beyond all of that. He's got his plus three air attacks on the way for Mutas. I'm not sure. I don't think he's even gotten started on plus three, plus three. No, he hasn't. That is to say, ground, carapace, and melee. Alright, so both players kind of break away after a very painstaking, nail-biting 15 minutes, or what seemed like 15 minutes of engagement time. And now, after sniping the bunker, the mutas pull back. Okay, so... Rhett morphing more banelings at home. Some of his workers are distance mining because, of course, that fifth hatch isn't done just yet. It might be wise of him to take a sixth, but the mutas are flocking back into the third, wanting to get worker kills, and they're sniping missile turrets one at a time. And I think I can almost see what Rhett is trying to do here. He's trying to abuse his opponent's immobility right now. Yes, of course, Marines can run very quickly, especially when stimmed, but... These mutas have plus three, and they fly faster than marines run, and they are getting worker kills one at a time. Well, eh, they're getting missile turret kills one at a time. I thought, I thought they were, I was almost certain they were actually getting SCV kills once they killed the turrets, but that was a lot less than I thought he was going to get to this, this stage in the game. Miraculously, less than ten workers killed by both ends of the map, but there's a Thor in the mix right now. I mean, for the, for the mutas to actually go up against that, that's suicide. But now, Rhett is taking another swing at the fourth base. Marine stimming up. I think he saw that Thor. The Ultralist Cavern going down behind that. The plus three attack about to finish up. Plus three melee attack about halfway done. Still requires another two minutes in game. And it looks like Hero Marine is going to push on to Rhett with superior army supply. His income still not quite up to par with that of Rhett. But... The mutas, oh, 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 he, uh, okay, he knows what's up. He sees those marines, and now he's going to have to try and get us around on this entire point right here, and I think he can do it, but he's instead, oh, somehow those, those zerglings, the, they got caught out of position by the marines, and now Red is in a painstaking position. He's got 50, he's got 50 lings on the way, but they're not ready in here to fight, and so many widow mines here accompany that one Thor and all these marines. I think they're just going to be able to shred through these mutas, but here we go. Red's just going to go for it. He snipes that Thor. And the Banelings are coming in. There's not too many Widow Mines left here, but they can still make super effective connections. They just detonate on nothing. They actually get detonated themselves. The Lings go in there and bite them. Eat, eat them alive. And somehow, Liquid Rat is still alive in this. To tell the story. Another Thor has entered the mix, and Ultras are entering the battlefield as well. The Marauder Count has only just recently started to pick up. No scan from, of course, our Terran to reveal that Ultralis Cavern. But where on earth is it? Let's find that. Tech, 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 tech. Uh, but beyond that, we actually see that Hero Marina set up a sixth base. Excuse me, a fifth base? Yes, a fifth base. And Red has set up a sixth base. We're going to check on that Ultralis Cavern. There it is. He actually did not scan that. But he's already at that stage in the game where he knows, okay, my opponent has to, has to have an Ultralisk Cavern. I don't know. The one thing that really scares me here is this 3 o'clock position base for Hero Marine. It's kind of ultra exposed there, and he doesn't quite have all of his army supply, but he's now starting to reposition everything. And it's kind of a chaos theory. Ooh, Banelings hit two of those Widow Mines, and the Widow Mines hit two or three of those Banelings. I don't know if that's an even trade or not, but... Kindness plating just about finishing up right now. The Infestors throwing down their fungal growths. And it looks as though the Widow Mines are burrowing right between the 6th base and this entire main army. And it looks like Red has successfully pushed back his opponent's main army. But his supply is dead.
nipping right now. He's not going to be able to hold on to that sixth base. He just lost his entire main army, and now he's remaxing on ultras. The problem with this is Hero Marine's army is presently ultra mobile. And no, I don't mean Ultralisk Mobile. I mean, they, they it moves so quick. And the, the Ultras, they're going to take another 30 seconds to finish. He doesn't have Infestors to accompany them right now. And it looks like Hero Marine is pulling back his main army desperately to try and defend his 6 o'clock position base. Meanwhile, Rhett retaking his own 6th base at the lower left. This game has kind of gotten out of control. Not the typical ending anyone would expect to a game. Where a player goes four base Ling Bling Muta style for delayed plus three plus three upgrades, but it looks like Neo Steel Frame is being researched as well as Terran building armor. Neo Steel Frame, what does that do? Neo Steel Frame. I honestly don't know, guys. I don't play Terran. I'm gonna actually have to research that sometime. But another scan goes down to reveal that lower left hand corner base. Or did it? Ah, uh, forget it. Here we go. And beautiful fungal growth there by Rhett. He's going to take down that. Yeah, yeah. No, no escaping me, Rhett says. And now... Oh, he's getting dropped to death. Is he? Is he? Is he? And, like, with this 12 o'clock position base going out of commission, that's going to reduce the income drastically for Rhett. And he's not even going to waste a second fungal growth. He's like, whatever. I'll let Banelings kill you. He's kind of distance mining. You can use that one ultra to take care of the problem. And now it looks like he might be going into the in for the kill. I mean, he's being forced to do it. Both players have large banks. And Red's just going to go in for it. He does have queens accompanying these ultras, however. And they are what's going to make the show. They're going to throw down a bunch of transfuses on all these ultras. But are they going to be able to stay alive long enough to just absorb damage evenly and make it through this entire chunk of army it looks as though this planetary fortress is now surviving to this point liquid red throws out the gg and mouse's hero marine is victorious after what is an overtly climactic game ladies and gentlemen this is breaker i'll see you guys next time